Welcome back. A new week, a new fourth wall episode. For episode two, we are walking the Vitra house together, a project that caught my attention when I was in school and uh, I finally got to visit. Before I jump into the concepts of the museum, I should say, if you like architecture, if you're into design, you need to visit this place. There is so much to see in the campus. After a fire destroyed the old facilities, Vitra got Grimshaw to design the first production building in the site. After that one, Frank Gehry, Zaha Hadid, Tarao Ando, all the star architects added their creations to what you can see today. A campus of experimentation in architecture and design. The campus is basically in the border between Germany and Switzerland. The city you see in the background is Basel, but the campus here in the front is Germany. The museum stands on the north side of the campus and it locks to the location with the views of the surroundings. It constantly looks out to the landscape. Each of the stacked houses has a different view. And it is a two-way relation not only the landscape coming inside the building, but due to the scale of the building, these becoming part of the landscape. I called it stacked houses because of how it looks in this case, but they have been developing this concept in many of their projects with different shapes. You can see it in the skyscraper they just finished in New York, the 56 Leonard, or one of their latest projects, the Vancouver Museum of Art. The architects stack volumes on top of each other, and the interesting bit of this is the result of that overlap. New spaces, visual relations and connections appear. Those are the connecting windows you see. The interior balconies, the double height spaces, the open lobby. That's the magic of the concept. Also, I have to say, the structure of the building is really interesting, how the volumes work and how the loads are traveling down, uh, but I could do a video just about that. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see a deep explanation only about the structure of the building, and I'll prepare something. The other concept they explore is the archetype of a house. Basically, what's a house, how should it look, the ideal example of it. So they took the concept of house and applied it for a space that is a museum, but it's used to present furnishing and home objects. The result are more spaces, smaller, keeping the feeling of a living room.
the last of the points that I want to go through today is what I call cascade concept. Basically, you take an elevator to the last level and then descend level by level by foot. It is basically a descent through the different spaces and by gravity, like water in a cascade. This concept has been used for at least 60 years. The first I know was the Guggenheim in New York from uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. But after that museum, many use this concept, like the Mercedes Museum in Stuttgart, for example. I have to say I've seen some plans of the building that show an ascendant sequence. Basically, starting from ground level, you go up level by level. So this is also possible, but this is not how you are briefed to do it when you get there. And this takes me to the closure of this new update of the fourth wall series. Let me know in the comment section below which of the concepts is your favorite and what do you like the most about the project. If you like the video, don't forget to like and to stay up to date with more content like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.